Well, the, as far as comorbidity is concerned, people are gradually recognizing that it's a major problem. Uh, so that there have been reports, for example, now from very serious sources of information showing that people with schizophrenia, for example, or with depression, uh, have 10 to 15 years less of life than people who do not have the mental illness. Partly this is due to the uh, discrimination which they experience in access to services, partly for reasons that we are not quite well understanding. There are many reasons for it, but the fact remains that people with mental illness suffer from many physical illnesses and that the question of how should this be handled is not resolved. So that's one major change, I think. The other change is that stigma has always been present since there is, I think, uh, the first time that mental disorders have been described, but it becomes more and more disturbing. It really is a central obstacle and people are gradually recognizing that it's a central obstacle to progress in our field. I think that if um, it becomes possible to uh, motivate and uh, mobilize people to give attention to those two fields, we'll do be doing fine. There has been now a variety of international initiatives to uh, um, include mental disorder as among the mental health problems, among public health problems. And for example, the um, uh, United Nations in defining their sustainable development goals have for the first time included mental health and the promotion of mental health as a major task for the United Nations. So I, I'm quite optimistic about that. I'm less optimistic about comorbidity, but I think that the fact that it's a major problem and it's such a um, uh, difficulty that everybody experiences will motivate psychiatrists to do something about it. They cannot do it alone, they have to do it in conjunction and in friendship and in collaboration with other people, other specialists, general practitioners, families, etc. But it's an area which needs urgent attention, I think it will get it. So I'm quite optimistic about the two. As far as young psychiatrists are concerned, my third area of interest, I think that they have, as I said, a tremendous talent and it is really becoming very important to find ways to help them to, to get into the game because I think they could help with these problems that I mentioned earlier uh, to a large extent.